Today we are going to study something about conics. So first topic is parametric equations of conics. All the conics, they are all the conics will have an equation, but for the e, for all the conics there is not there is also another equation called auxiliary equations they will have and they are called parametric equations or polar equations. For each conic there is a parametric equation. Suppose if I take the conic as circle, then its equation is we have a standard equation and also a parametric equation. And we shall have the range also. So we shall take that as a conic. So first one, if I take circle, we know the circle equation is x square plus y square equal to a square. Then this x is then x will have a parametric equation called the a cos theta and the y equal to a sin theta. And here the theta ranges from 0 to to pi. And this equation x equal to a cos theta and y equal to a sin theta. When you substitute here this equation will be satisfied. Therefore this equation is called a parametric equation in which the length and also an angle is involved. Similarly, suppose if I have a parabola, we know the standard equation is y square equal to 4 x then x equal to a t square and y equal to 2 a t. Here, t is from minus infinity to plus infinity. Now, since it is an open curve, it depends on the time factor, therefore we represent that one as t. Therefore, parabola, its equation is y square equal to 4x, whose parametric equations are x equal to at square, comma y equal to t to at, where t is the variable here. Now, if I go for ellipse, then we know x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 is the standard equation. Here x equal to a cos theta and y equal to b sin theta. If it is a, it will become circle. So it is different from circle. Therefore, it is x equal to a cos theta and y equal to b sin theta. Here also the range is from 0 to 2 pi less than or equal to. Then, Finally, we have hyperbola whose equation is x square by a square minus y square by b square equal to 1. Here x equal to a secant theta and y equal to b tan theta. And this is the parametric equation for hyperbola. Here 0 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to 2 pi. But theta or we can say it as except pi by 2. At 90 this becomes infinity therefore it won't take 90. So these are the parametric equations for all the points. So for circle a cos theta a sin theta, parabola a t square 2 a t, here is a cos theta b sin theta and for hyperbola a secant theta comma b tan theta. So these are all called additional equations or polar equations or parametric equations or auxiliary equations, whatever things. They will be helpful to do some more calculations where these equations cannot be used. So this calculation, these equations should be used and to do the problems simpler. Now we shall go for next one, tangent and normals. We studied this one in our circle also. So each conic they will have a tangent normal facilities also. So tangent and normal. Whenever you have to touch, you touch by the line, then the line is called a tangent. So when a line touches the curve, then the line is called a tangent. Any line perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact is called normal. Now we shall see how the equation of tangent and normal will be there for the coordinates. We shall see only for the tangent. We know how to find the normal. We are doing problems. We shall do. So, first one for parabola. 
y square equal to 4ax then I can write this one as y into y equal to 4a can be written as 2a into 2x so it is y into y1 is 2a into x plus x we can say therefore tangent at p of x1 comma y1 is y y1 equal to 2a into x plus x1 keep one y as it is another y as y1 keep one x as it is can write another x as x1 so this is the parabola that means it may be of this form if i have a point p of x1 comma y1 on the parabola then this is the equation of tangent y y1 equal to 2a into x plus x1 similarly we have the equation of tangent for ellipse and also for hyperbola. Let me wrap this. Now, for ellipse, we have the equation as x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. Then this implies I can write x square as x into x by a square y into y by b square equal to 1. Therefore, tangent at p of x1 comma y1 is keep 1 as x it is another x as x1 by a square. Similarly, keep 1 y as it is another y as y1 by b square equal to 1. This is the equation of a tangent to a ellipse. Suppose if this is point B or I can write here also. This is point B x1 comma y1 then this is the tangent B. Now so by getting all this idea we can write the equation of tangent to a hyperbola is yes. hyperbola tangent at P of x1 comma y1 is yes. I can write this equation as x x1 by a square minus y y1 by b square equal to 1. This is the equation of tangent. So equation of tangent to an ellipse is x x1 by a square plus y y1 by b square equal to 1. Similarly equation of hyperbola, tangent to the hyperbola is x x1 by a square minus y y1 by b square equal to 1. So this is second part. Now we shall go for third one. First one is parametric equation. Second one is tangents and normal. Now we shall go for third one. Condition for any line y equal to mx plus c to be a tangent. Now, suppose if I need y equal to mx plus c any line to be a tangent to the parabola or it is r to a hyperbola what will be the condition that is for first parabola y square equal to 4ax then condition is if this line y equal to mx plus b to be a tangent to this parabola then the c must satisfy this condition a by m this is the condition and this will meet at the point, point of contact is a by m square comma 2a by m. At this point only, this line will meet the parabola. Understanding? Suppose if I need any line y equal to mx plus b to touch a parabola, then it must satisfy this condition c equal to a by m. Then the point of contact is a by m square comma 2a by m. Then I can have a new equation of tangent. Therefore, equation of tangent is y equal to mx plus instead of c, a by m. Now this a can be derived from parabola. This is the equation of tangent in terms of m. Similarly, for ellipse, x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 then condition is condition is c square equal to a square m square plus b square 
then the c must be satisfied this condition c square equal to a square m square plus b square then the point of contact is that is the tangent or this line will touch the ellipse at minus a square m by c comma b square by c at this point the ellipse will touch the curve touch the curve or the tangent will touch the line will touch the ellipse then equation of tangent will be equation of tangent is y equal to m x since it is c square if i take root plus or minus root r a square m square plus b square this is the equation of tangent in terms of m similarly for hyperbola same thing is there only i got minus sign for b square hyperbola x square by a square minus y square by b square equal to 1 then condition is we know only there will be change in the sign of b square c square equal to a square m square minus b square therefore point of contact we can see by writing or we can write by seeing the ellipse itself minus a square m by c comma minus b square by c and the equation of tangent is in terms of m is y equal to m x plus or minus root of a square m square minus b square this is the equation of tangent in terms of m so these are the basic things that we must know about points about ellipses about hyperbola about the parabola so with this idea we shall do the examples in exercise of next exercise that is 5.4 example 5.27 find the equation of tangent and normal to the parabola x square plus 6x plus 4y plus 5 equal to 0 At to one comma minus three. Now, if we want to split the equation, we don't need to have any formula. We can write the equation of tangent easily. That is given. First, you write the equation as x square plus six x plus four y plus five equal to zero. Now, we shall try to split this. X square I can write as x in the x. Six x I can write as three into two x. Is that it? Then this is 2 into 2y plus 5 equal to 0. Now this can be done as x into x, 3 into x plus x, isn't it? Then 2 into y plus y plus 5 equal to 0. Therefore, now tangent at x1 comma y1 is keep one x as it is and another one x as x1. Similarly, one x as it is, another x as x1. One y as it is, another y as y one plus y equal to zero. Now they are asking the tangent term. Therefore, tangent term. The point is one comma minus three. Substitute x one as one and y one as minus three. We get x into one plus three into x plus one plus two into y minus three plus y equal to zero. Is it yes? Plus 3x plus 3 plus 2y minus 6 plus 5 equal to 0. X plus 3x is 4x plus 2y. 8 minus 6 is 2 equal to 0. I can divide by 2. Then it is 2x plus y plus 1 equal to 0. Is the tangent. Now we found the equation of tangent. I am asked to find out the equation of normal also. Remember, normal means a perpendicular line to the tangent. Therefore, equation of normal is what is perpendicular line? Remember, interchange the coefficients of x and y. So I have x and two y, and change the sign. What is plus means minus plus k equal to zero. This is the equation of normal. We studied from our tenth standard itself. Interchange the coefficients of x and y, and change the sign in between them. Now this passes through the same point. 
1 comma minus 3 then it is 1 minus 2 into minus 3 plus k equal to 0 1 plus 6 plus k equal to 0 so k is minus 7 therefore normal is x minus 2y minus 7 equal to 0 so this is the equation of normal so this is how we can find the equation of tangent and normal without knowing any formula just you split the equation of the parabola you get the tangent and the perpendicular line formula that is change the interchange the number y a piece is between x and y and change the sign you will get the equation of normal we will follow the same thing for ellipse and also for hyperbola now we should go for example 5.28 Find the equation of tangent and normal. To the ellipse, x square plus 4y square equal to 32 at theta equal to pi by 4. Remember, we did the last problem on parabola after having the point. So similarly, if I know a point, I can find the equation of tangent normal. To find the point, I have the parametric equation. Let me use the parametric equation and we will find the point first. So given x square plus 4y square equal to 32. So divide by 32, that is I will get the standard form, isn't it? 32 plus y square by 8 equal to 1. Since it is ellipse, the bigger number is a square and b square equal to a. So a equal to root 32. Is it 16 into 2? So a equal to 4 root 2. Similarly, b equal to root 8, b equal to 4 into 2. So b equal to 2 root 2. And theta is given as 5 by 4. We know the parametric equations of ellipses x equal to a cos theta and y equal to a sin theta x equal to a is 4 root 2 cos theta is pi by 4 is it not 4 root 2 into 1 by root 2 2 2 root 2 cancels x equal to 4 similarly y equal to a is sorry a b B is 2 root 2 sin pi by 4. It is 2 root 2 into 1 by root 2. So 2 to root 2 cancels. Therefore, point is 4 comma 2. Now can you understand? It's enough for me to find the equation of tangent normal at 4 comma 2. Therefore, take once again. Given equation is x square plus 4y square equal to 32. If I split, it is x into x, 4y into y, minus 32 equal to 0. Therefore, tangent at x1, y1 is x, x1 plus 4 into y, y1, minus 32 equal to 0. I need the tangent at 4, 2, isn't it? Yes, x into 1, x1 becomes 4. 4 into 1, y1 becomes 2, minus 32 equal to 0. So I divide by 4 now itself, then it is x plus 2y minus 8 equal to 0 is the tangent. See, it is easy to find the equation of tangent once if you have a point. Now, equation of normal is, we know normal is perpendicular line to the tangent, so interchange the numbers, y equation. 2x and y plus will become minus plus k equal to 0. This pass through the same point 4 comma 2. So 2 into 4 minus 2 plus k equal to 0. 8 minus 2 plus k equal to 0. k equal to 8 minus 2 is 6. So minus 6. Therefore normal is 2x minus y minus 6 equal to 0. So the tangent is x plus 2y minus 8 equal to 0. Normal is 2x minus y minus 6 equal to 0. 
So this is how we can find the equation of tangent normal if the point is given or if it is for the point is not even given means we can find the point and then we can find the equation of tangent normal. With this idea, we shall go for the exercise problems. The exercise 5.4. First of find the equation of two tangents. from 5 comma 2 to the ellipse 2 x square plus 5 y square equal to 14. Now reason here, if I go by the usual method, since the point is there, if I go by the usual method by splitting x square as x into x and y square as y into y, I will get only one tangent. It's not that I have to find only one tangent, I have to find two tangent. So let me go for some other method. The some other method is let me try to write the equation of tangent in terms of m. Remember, given 2x square plus 5y square equal to 14 means, then it is divided by 2x square plus 5y square, sorry, 7y square equal to 14 divided by 14 then this becomes x square by 7 y square by 2 equal to 1 then the bigger number is 7 so it is a square and this is b square is 2 remember this means I must take the larger one as a square and the smaller one as b square then equation of tangent is y equal to m max plus r minus root of a square m square plus b square. See, are we getting two tangents? One is for plus, another is for minus. So we can use this formula to find the equation of tangent. If you are in need of more tangent, is more than one tangent. Now we shall substitute all the things we know. So y equal to m max plus or minus a square is 7. So 7m seven square plus 2. So we write this one as y minus mx equal to plus or minus root of 7m square plus 2. When I square, this becomes y minus mx to 4 square, the plus or minus root, everything will disappear. Now, before expanding this, shall I substitute this point 5 comma 2? This passes through 5 comma 2. Then x will take 5, y will take 2. So 2 minus 5 is the whole square equal to 7 m square plus 2. 2 minus m is m we do not know m into 5. Now I have an equation or I have a quadratic equation in m. See that? That is 2 minus 5 m the whole square equal to 7 m square plus 2. Let me expand this 4 plus 25 m square. 2 2's are 4, 4 5's are 20 m minus 7 m square minus 2 is equal to 0. 25 minus 7 is it's not 18 m square minus 20 m. 4 minus 2 is 2 is equal to 0. If I divide by 2, divide by 2, 9 m square minus 10 m plus 1 is equal to 0. See, if I factorize this, I will get two values for m. One m value, one point, I will get one separate tangent. One m value, second m value, out then the same point by I will get the second. So we shall factorize this quadratic equation. 9 into 1 is 9. I need minus 10. So minus 9 minus 1. When we multiply it is plus 9. When we add it is minus 10. But we have m square to x as 9. So divide by 9. Is it minus 1 minus 1 by 9? So it is m minus 1, m minus 1 by 9 equal to 0, m equal to 1, m equal to 1 by 9. Now let me take first m equal to 1 and the point as 5 comma 2. The equation of tangent is 1 point 1 slope, y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1 y minus 
2 e equal to 1 into x minus 5. y minus 2 e equal to x minus 5. x minus 5 minus y plus 2 e equal to 0. x minus y minus 3 e equal to 0. Similarly, when m equal to 1 by 9 and the same point 5 comma 2, the second tangent is y minus 2 e equal to 1 by 9 into x minus 5. If it 9y minus 18 e equal to x minus 5, so x minus 5 minus 9y plus 18 e equal to 0. x minus 9y plus 13 e equal to 0 is the second tangent. x minus 9y plus 13 e equal to 0 is the second tangent. This is how we can do when we are asked to work more than one tangent. So, if they ask for more than one tangent, you should not use the splitting formula. You must go for the formula in which m is involved. So, with that, this problem is over. Now, we should go for second problem. Find the equation of tangents. To the hyperbola x square by 16 minus y square by 64 equal to 1, which are parallel to 10x minus 3y plus 9 equal to 0. Once if we know how to distinguish the problems, that is, comparing with the previous problem, the previous problem we were asked to find the equation of two tangents, but they gave a point. But here, we are asked to find the equation of tangents means two tangents, but instead of point they gave another parallel line. So using this concept we have to do. So let me go for the same formula in which m is involved because I need tangent more than one. Therefore, Given the hyperbola is 16 minus y square by 64 equal to 1. Here remember a square is 16, b square is 64. Because being in hyperbola, the first number is a square. So a is 4, b is 8. Now, equation of tangent is y equal to m max plus r minus root r. For hyperbola, a square m square minus b square, y equal to m max plus or minus root a square m square is, a square is 16 m square minus b square is 64. Let me have this formula or this line as it is. So let me keep this one as one. If I know the value of m, I can find the two tangent. Parallel they gave the tangent is parallel to this line. So if two lines are parallel, whether it is tangent or whatever it is, if two lines are parallel, their slopes are equal. So given one is parallel to 10x minus 3y plus 9 equal to 0. Therefore its slope is Minus coefficient of x by coefficient of y, 10 by 3. Therefore, parallel slope is, we can give that is m, is also 10 by 3. Since parallel slopes are equal, now shall I substitute m as 10 by 3 here, then it is 1 implies y equal to 10 by 3x yes, plus or minus 16 into 10 by 3 the whole square minus 64. It is y equal to 10 by 3x plus or minus 16 into 100 by 9 minus 64. This is y equal to 10 by 3x plus or minus 1600 minus 9 fours are 36 remind to 3, 9 six are 54, 57 by 9. So y equal to 10 by 3x plus or minus 1600 minus 576 is 1024 by 9. 
16, right? So in the place of 4a, we have 16. So a equal to 16 by 4 is 4. Given. So I'll suddenly write the tangent now. Equation of tangent. That is, I'm going to write the equation of tangent in terms of m. That is, y equal to m minus power parabola. Remember, a by m. I have only a. M max plus 4 by M. So we should keep this one as 1. This is the tangent. So once if I know the value of M, I can find the equation of tangent here. To find the equation of the value of M, I can use this because the tangent is perpendicular to this given line. Now, we shall say like this. That is, 1 is perpendicular to 2x plus 2y plus 3 equal to 0. So the last slope of this line is minus 4a p of x by 4p of y minus 1. Therefore, perpendicular slope is, that is our m, is minus 1 by minus 1, isn't it? Minus 1 by m, so it is 1. So we can substitute m as 1 here, then 1 becomes equation of tangent is y equal to 1 into x plus 4 by 1. So y equal to x plus 4. Or x minus y plus 4 equal to 0 is the tangent. Very simple problem. This is your fourth problem. Now we should go for problem number 5. Find the equation of tangent. To the parabola. y square equal to 8x at p equal to 2. This is problem number 5. Same thing. Given y square equal to 8x. So if I know the point, I can find the equation of tangent by in terms of splitting the equation, isn't it? So to get the point, they gave p equal to 2. We shall try to use that. That is, this is how the form y square equal to 4ax. So in the place of 4a we have 8, therefore a equal to 2 and t equal to 2 given. Therefore, we know the point is on the parametric equation of parabola is a t square comma 2 a t. Substituting here a is 2, 2 square, 2 into 2 into 2. So it is 4 2 are 8, 8. So it is easy for us to find the equation of tangent now because I have the point. So given y square equal to 8x, we can write this one as y into y, 4 into 2x, that is y into y equal to 4 into x plus x. Therefore tangent at the x1 comma y1 is y y1 equal to 4 into x plus x1. So I need the tangent at 8 comma 8. So substitute y as 8. 4 into another x as also 8. So we can divide by 4. That is 2y equal to x plus 8. Dividing by 4. So x minus 2y plus 8 equal to 0 is the tangent. So this is how we can, so if I know the point, I can substitute, I can split the equation and then write the equation of tangent because they are in need of only one tangent. This is problem number 5. Now we shall go for problem number 6. Find the equation of tangent and normal. To the hyperbola twelve x square minus nine y square equal to one not eight at theta equal to five by three. So I am in need of only one tangent. So we shall go for splitting the equation and then write the equation of tangent. But before splitting the equation, I am in need of point, isn't it? So we shall first find out the point. We can find the point because they gave theta value. Using parametric equation of hyperbola, we can find the point now. So given 12 x square minus 9 y square equal to 1 r 8 divided by 
108, this is x square by 9 minus y square by 12 equal to 1 because 12 nines are 108. Hyperbola b in the first number is a square, so a square is 9 and b square is 12. So a equal to root 9 is 3, b equal to root 12, 4 into 3, so b equal to 2 root 3. And given theta equal to 5 by 3. Therefore, point is a secant theta, comma b tan theta. It is a sec a is 3 secant pi by 3, comma b is 2 root 3 tan pi by 3. So it is 3 into secant 60, cos 60 is 1 by 2, so secant 60 is 2, 2 root 3, tan 60 is root 3. Therefore the point is 6 comma root 3 into root 3 is 3, 3 into root 6. So we found the point. Once we find the point, it is easy for us to find the equation of tangent. So given Curve is 12x square minus 9y square equal to 108. When I split 12x into x minus 9y into y minus 108 equal to 0. So tangent at x1 comma y1 is 12x x1. Remember minus 9y y1 minus 108 equal to 0. I need the tangent at 6 comma 6. So keep one x as it is, another x as 6. 9 y into 6 minus 108 equal to 0. Before it uh, multiplying, shall I divide by 6? It is 12 x minus 9 y minus 1 time. Remind of 4, 48, 8 times. This is 12 x minus 9 y minus 8. Again I can divide by 3. So it is 4 x minus 3 y minus 6 equal to 0 is the tangent. Now, I have the tangent, so from this I can find the equation of normal. Equation of normal is, interchange the numbers 3x and 4y and the sign becomes, minus becomes plus, plus k equal to 0. This passes to 6 comma 6, so 3 into 6, 4 into 6 plus k equal to 0. 80 plus 24 plus k equal to 0. k is minus 42. Therefore, increase not normal is 3x plus 4y minus 42 equal to 0. So the tangent is 4x minus 3y minus 6 equal to 0. And then is 42, so minus 42. This is the equation of normal. So this is the, this is the normal slope. Next we should go for sine of the problem. Next Problem number 7. Prove that the point of intersection of of tangents at T1 and T2 on the parabola y square equal to 4ax is a t1 t2 comma a into t1 plus t2. That means in two points, two tangents are meeting. If those two tangents are allowed to intersect, they will intersect at these two points. That's what we have to find out. Okay. That is, suppose if I have a parabola y square equal to 4 x, and if I take a point P as a t1 square comma 2 a t1 and if I take another point q as a t2 square comma 2 a t2 
And if I have tangent at this point, and if I have tangent at that point, then this point of intersection is this one. That is A T1 T2 comma A into T1 plus T2. This is what I have to work out. Okay, so the intersection of two tangents at these two points will be meeting at these two points. That we have to prove. So first we shall take the tangent given y square equal to 4 a x. As you said, if you don't have, if you don't know the equation of the tangent, no need to go for something. We can derive the equation of the tangent. That is, I can split this one as y into y. 4 a has 2 a into 2 a. Then tangent at x1 comma y1 is y y1 equal to 2a into 2a can be as x plus x and 1x can be as x1 but I need the tangent at this point now therefore tangent at p of a t1 square comma 2a t1 so if they say the tangent at t1 means it is me it means that if the point is a t1 square comma 2a t1 parameter equal with respect to t1 then tangent will become y into instead of y1 2a t1 equal to 2a into x plus a t1 square now i can cancel on 2a then it is y t1 equal to x plus a t1 square this is the equation of tangent at a t1 square comma 2a t1 therefore similarly Q of a t1 square sorry a t2 square comma 2a t2 will be y t2 equal to x plus a t2 square this is true now we shall solve these two equations and we shall find the point of intersection because I need the point of intersection that means I have to solve these two tangents so straightly y t1 equal to x plus a t1 square y t2 equal to x plus a t2 square when I subtract minus 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 x will be cancelling so we write y into t1 minus t2 similarly a into t1 square minus t2 square so if I take y into t1 minus t2 and that one has a into it is a square minus b square form so t1 minus t2 into t1 plus t2 then i can cancel t1 minus t2 and y equal to a into t1 plus t2 this is y substitute this value y in one substitute for y in one then we will have the equation as one becomes instead of y a into t1 plus t2 into t1 equal to x plus a t1 square now multiply with a t1 a t1 square a t1 t2 equal to x plus a t1 square a t1 square a t1 square cancels x equal to a t1 t2 so we prove find that intersection is a t1 t2 comma a into t1 plus t2 this is the point of the system of two tangents so we put problem number 7 now we should go for problem number 8 if the normal at the point T1 on the parabola y square equal to 4ax means again at the point T2 then T1 plus 2 by T1. 
that is, here they are talking about Nāda, a normal attitude, means like a again attitude, that fear and fear will have this relationship. Suppose if I try to draw a diagram, if this point is P as A T1 square comma 2A T1, then this is the tangent, isn't it? Then if I draw a perpendicular line, then it is normal. This is the normal at T1, meets the curve again at Q as A T1 square comma 2A T1, 2A T2, A T2 square comma 2A T2. So this is the question, the normal at T1 meets the curve again at T2, the T2 and T1 will have this relationship as T2 equal to minus of T1 plus 2 by T1. This is what we have to do. Now, given y square equal to 4x, same thing, suppose if you are not knowing the equation of normal, this will derive the equation of normal. We know how to derive the tangent, isn't it? So it is y by equal to 2a into 2x. So tangent at the a t1 square comma 2a t1 is y in each of on y1 2a t1 equal to 2a t x plus in each of x1 a t1 square it is y t1 equal to x plus a t1 square it is the tangent therefore shall I write this as x minus y t1 plus a t1 square equal to 0 is the tangent so, this is the equation of tangent. So, we shall try to find the normal. We know what normal means. We have perpendicular line to the tangent. So, shall I write this one as xt1 plus y plus k equal to 0 is the normal. Since we are not knowing the equation of normal as formula, or if we are not even trying to learn the one as a formula. So, I am deriving the tangent. After deriving the tangent, I am trying to get the equation of normal. We know this passes through. Same point, a t1 square comma 2 a t1. So, substitute x as a t1 square into t1. Then y is 2 a t1 plus k equal to 0. So, it is a t1 q plus 2 a t1 plus k equal to 0. So, k is minus a t1 cube minus 2a t1. Then equation of normal is x t1 plus y bracket minus a t1 cube minus 2a t1 equal to 0. This is the equation of normal at to be of a t1 square comma 2a t1. Now this touches at Q are a t2 square comma 2a t2. This normal touches Q at that point. That means x will take a t2 square and y will take this 2a t1. Let's substitute there. Instead of x, a t2 square into t1 plus y as 2a t2. Shall we write the minus a t1 q minus 2a t1 equal to 0. Now we shall try to simplify a t1 t2 square minus a t1 q and keep it there. Then it is 2a t1 minus 2a t2. Here one a, one t1 is common. So it is t2 square minus t1 square. Here if I take 2 a of t1 minus t2. If I take this one has a t1, then it is t2 minus t1 into t2 plus t1. Then if I take minus sign of 2a into t2 minus t1, so that I will be getting t2 minus t1, t2 minus t1 cancels. So a t1 into t2 plus t1 is minus 2a. What a can be cancelled? t1 into t2 plus t1 is minus 2. It is t2 plus t1 is minus 2 by t1. Then t2 is minus 2 by t1. 
minus t1 and t2 is phi delta minus sin now is it not by t1 plus 2 by t1 so we prove so with that this problem is proved and with that x is 5 point and this x is also over with that we finish this exercise